Klaus Anderson says, while you're on the topic of ELRS, why is ELRS so superior to other systems? Why didn't established companies come up with this? Um, as far as why ELRS is superior, uh, I've, I've talked about this before, so I don't want to spend 20 minutes. Now I will probably spend 20 minutes doing it every time I say that. ELRS is optimized for long range and low latency. It has been sort of shaved down to the bare minimum. So there are convenience features that other, thing, other systems have that it doesn't have like over-the-air flashing, for example, um, like Mavlink telemetry support, like Crossfire has, although they're, they're working on something like that. Um, what, but the, as far as why it's better, the short answer is that you will get longer range, milliwatt for milliwatt, out of Express LRS. It has faster packet rates for lower latency because it was designed for that from, from the ground up. And... Uh, and because it's open source, there's widespread availability of hardware. Those are the three main reasons I think it's superior. Um, uh, but um, as far as why didn't anyone else do this? Well, the answer is that they started with different priorities. Um, Crossfire is much easier to use. It's much more accessible in terms of firmware updates and flashing and binding. It's, it's much easier to use, okay? Uh, and uh, Ghost, likewise, much easier to use. So it just means that they started with different priorities. And sometimes when you're an open source project and you don't have to worry about selling to customers, you can make decisions that turn out to be better decisions for customers. Also, when you're an open source project and you don't actually care about the, I shouldn't say care, when you're an open source project and your primary job is to develop the software and somebody else develops the hardware, it's possible to sell that hardware for a lower price, right? And that gives you an advantage. Um, but like, if you look at Crossfire, Crossfire at the time that it came out was lower latency than everything else by a huge amount. It was half the latency of other stuff and had 10 times or 20 times the range easily. Crossfire was so much better than everything else. And so they made some decisions about how to design Crossfire and they were the best. And then the market continued to evolve so that five years later, Along comes Express LRS, and suddenly it's doing things that Crossfire didn't do. And now Crossfire is no longer the best. Well, some people feel that Crossfire is still the best. That's you know, but there's ways in which Express LRS is better than Crossfire. And at this point, TBS would have to literally start from scratch in order to do the things that, for example, for Crossfire to have lower latency than Express LRS they would have to go back to the drawing board and redesign it, not maybe not entirely from scratch, but they would have to really think about their assumptions and redesign it to be lower latency because they have made decisions in the past that they are now locked into, you see? And so one of the reasons why Express LRS is better is just because it's newer and they were not constrained by decisions made in the past. And five years from now, who knows? Express LRS may be locked in by decisions they made and unable to adapt to a changing marketplace. And someone else may come along and eat their lunch. Don't know. 